All right, here we are. Here's a look at uh, the weather out there today after yesterday's, uh, I don't know, I want to call it a blizzard because that's generally and basically what it was. I woke up this morning to a lot of rain, a lot, a lot of rain. Uh, and it's still raining, and the snow is still washing away. And there is, huh, though the snow banks are high, and the car, the, the gray van over there has been sitting not cleaned off. Now, that had about a foot and a half of snow on it this morning, even with the rain, but that'll show you how much the rain has washed everything away. You can see the flooding in the lawn over there. I don't even know if I can tune in on that. Maybe I can. Right behind that red car is the end of the lawn, and it's like a lake out there. Everything is just yucky. The sky is still overcast. It's supposed to cool down and start snowing again. We're supposed to get another another uh, 10 or 15 centimeters, no, to, yeah, 10 or 15 centimeters, uh, another 6 or 7 inches of snow later on. But right now, it's not looking like it. It's about 40, 45 degrees out there, and uh, everything is like spring, sort of, in an odd kind of way, and... Uh, it's just me and Ellie here, and she's still not wanting to go outside, so other than that, I would take the camera out and give a live view. <clears throat> Everybody else is uh, on a bus to the mall, going to get some books and some other odds and ends uh, that we need around here, and uh, so we're here by ourselves. Ellie is absolutely too young to leave here on her own, so we're going to just do this right right from the house, like we have been, which is fine with me. It, even though the temperature is warm, you can see those trees moving. <laughs> that wind chill is still there. I mean, the thermometer might say 36, but with the wind chill, it's still below zero, especially with the water and the ice on the ground. Crazy, crazy weather. You can see that huge snowbank across the driveway there next to that gray car. Those snowbanks are... It's the only snow we had. I mean, there was no, there was hardly no snow on the ground. And there were definitely no snowbanks out there last night when we got home from bringing the kids from school. That snow started at 8 o'clock. And by 11, there was a foot and a half of snow out there. I'm surprised those squirrel nests up in the top of that tree up there are staying. They're just flopping in the breeze. Incredible. And uh, as you could tell by our weather cam, it, just, it was a lot of snow. It was a lot. <clears throat> We're going to work on getting the camera up a little bit higher for these uh, weather cams, but... We had a pretty good view last night. If I could have got the camera up a little bit higher than it was, um, we could have seen the snow in the street light, which would have made it far better. As you can see, the wind is wicked. See that tree? It is literally taking that big tree and just blowing it sideways. There's some blue skies going to come in here before more snow takes over, but it's definitely, definitely coming. The wind has not shifted from the other direction. It is still coming out of the west, west-southwest, and uh, so we're still getting those blizzards that they're getting in the Midwest. I'm being told by people out down in uh, upstate New York that it's like 50, 60 degrees there. Well, yeah, you're definitely missing a treat. If that's what you want to call it. That is the bluest sky has been in uh, days. I can't even, you know, there it is. Yes. 
There's that blue sky that's moving in. It's temporary, though. Very, very temporary. Because right behind that is more dark. Dark glass. Just a big hole in the cloud. A big hole in the overhead experience. And you can tell by the way the brightness went away that uh, that clouds are right behind it. Uh, nine o'clock this morning it still looked like it was nighttime out it did not the sun did not get bright at all it was almost like the sun didn't rise this morning that wind is evil i know you can't probably hear it through the phone but it's definitely definitely crazy I know the temperature still says 36 and uh, rising, but uh, I'd be willing to bet, even at, even though it's just past noon here, that we're getting ready to have a temperature dip and the snow will be returning soon. The, the rain seems to have eased off. Most of what I see in those puddles is uh, wind blowing a, Water is blowing so hard, literally blowing the water. Water is sheeting right off the puddles across the yard. It's like blowing, uh, blowing the puddles into the air, like little water spouts in the mud puddles. I'm really, really itching to get out there and do some more vlogs, guys. And I just pointed out to my daughter that in uh, less than uh, two weeks, it's going to be Groundhog Day. We're going to be talking about uh, NASCAR. And yeah, because uh, Daytona is going to be happening and all that stuff. That's all coming in about 14 days or less. Already, yeah. Valentine's Day is about a month away. <coughs> Less than a month away, in fact, because, you know, it's like the 15th today. And I don't foresee this cold hanging around very long. I see a very early spring on its way. Very, very early. There are some sirens. They've been busy. I've had uh, been listening to the EMS calls today. I don't have a scanner, but I've got scanner. Somebody runs scanners on the scanner signal on YouTube, so we listen to it there. It's been on live, as you might imagine, for the last 24 hours. And we've been pretty busy. We can't get into the police signal, but we can definitely get into EMS. I think they scramble the police calls here or something, because I've tried to uh, get an online fix on it, and uh, it just don't lock into those frequencies. Crank up that view a little bit and I'll see a little better. And the camera won't be as jerky. So this is our mess here. Yes, we had... Uh, yeah, I'm going to say it was a foot and a half. It was probably deeper, as you can tell by the size of those snow banks. They don't, they don't get that high by a little bit of snow. We had pretty close to two foot. They didn't even come in with a truck to plow. They brought a tractor. 
They brought a big tractor, came in and plowed, and then they ran an assault truck over all these lots. Don't put it on the bed. Put it on the chair or something. They're only going to get tossed in the corner if you put them on the bed. I could take you around for another view of this in the other window. Snow banks on the side of the roads is the most of the snow that's left. Uh, you can start to see green grass. already just from the warm weather and the rain and the melting a lot of flood warnings out here you know, we live on a bay we are on the top of the hill so we're not as, as affected by flooding but you can definitely see it see blue clouds the hole in the sky the hole in the clouds all gone gray is back in fact, the, you know, the dark skies are back so good, it's starting to look like sunset. It really seems like many uh, enjoyed the uh, weather cam. That was some pretty crazy weather last night. If we get more, if it happens again tonight, the weather cam will be back up. It was pretty exciting last night. We were looking on... Uh, we have our feelers out for a new phone for the vlogs and stuff, but we were looking and we found some deals and, you know, when the new phone comes, which uh, we didn't find one last night, but we did find some deals on uh, service and uh, data and stuff, and it's possible that this phone could also be getting some data so we could do some live uh, vlogging. I don't know how much, but there's some pretty good deals on data. They changed their packages here so that two of the phones, now one has 50 gigabytes, the other has 100. And uh, they actually saved money above and beyond what they they were getting, which was not very much. They doubled or tripled their data and paid less money. Today we're having some phone issues. We have no no phone service from our provider at all. The data and the texts and stuff seem to be working, but no phone service. Total blackout in the, this this area and all of Toronto for our phone company. We're not sure what's going on. Just a surprise we woke up to. But the weather is <laughs> it's a good bet. The weather had a lot to do with it. As you can see, the wind and the snow and the rain. And not good for uh, for this equipment. I know right behind us there's definitely a uh, <clears throat> a couple of cell towers, and they require the the equipment. The, the, the antennas are fine, but the equipment that picks up those signals and sends those signals is affected by weather a lot. There's little, the setups are in little houses that are heated. There's a, all it is is a house with a propane heater that turns heat on and off and keeps them warm and uh, at a fixed temperature all winter long and cool. It's really weird because a little square building attached to the tower and it's got air conditioning. It's got better air conditioning and better heating than some homes for the cellular equipment. Oops, and we got two of them outside of our house. One of them is almost directly in behind us and the other one's about four blocks near it. Two different companies, but cellular towers nonetheless.
we are keeping our eyes open for events. And uh, we're watching because I think the uh, ToyCon event is going to be in March. And that's the start of it, the ToyCon, and then uh, Free Comic Book Day. And before that, we're going to be doing strolls downtown. The Pride Parade comes in that period of time, too. And uh, the Shriners Parade, the Pride Parade, it all kind of comes at the same time between March and April. Downtown uh, Main Street events and Buster Fest and stuff like that. They all come too in March, just before school ends. Man, that wind is wicked. I don't see any trees down yet this winter from the, but this is the first big windy day we've had. And believe me, those winds are very, very big. They're 40 to 60 kilometers, some of them upwards of 70 kilometers. You can, uh, you can feel it blowing right through the building here, it is insulated as we are. Pants go with it. Mini Pop shirt. Yeah, so tomorrow we have concert. Mini Pop, Mini Pop. After my boots, <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna wear those in the area. So I'm gonna take off my boots after I get in the pool. She's wearing Holly Jolly pajamas. She wore those to school because yesterday was pajama day, and then she decided I will sleep in them. Mini pop. I grabbed the wrong pair of pants out of my drawer. Uh oh, here's some. Uh, oh, blow the camera out. There's another hole in the clouds on the other side that we can't see. I wish yes, I had a pair we of got pink a blast socks. of sunshine now. Yeah. I wish I had a pair of pink socks, but I sadly don't. Probably not. And Dada, mm -hmm. I'm hoping that, that I keep my Mini Pop Kids shirt clean. Uh, wow, hear that? So I, I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. That wind is banging against the building here. Not the trees or anything, it's the wind. It's slamming just against the, the building. Just, just the walls, just the walls of the house. Yeah. The back wall sounds like it's slamming in the, through us here. All right, guys, we are going to, uh, we're going to close this one up for now and say goodbye. We will definitely be back doing something, but I wanted to get a vlog up for you and uh, let you know that we're all still alive. We are itching to get out there, vlog some more. We are looking for deals on new cameras and, and smartphones. Uh, this will be replaced very soon. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.